What's up guys, welcome back to a new edition of Weekly Customs. So if you guys remember last week, I was pretty sick. Well, I still am sick, however, I'm not as sick as I was last week. But, I'm still a little sick, still have the symptoms. And it's kind of weird though, because it seems more than a week. That, but, either way though, I'm better now, and I'm better enough to do Weekly Customs. So, as you see, we have these two Pac figures. Or Neville, Adrian, or whatever the hell you want to call him. At the time... What the fuck? So, sorry, it's just, um... My neighbor just, the thing launched fireworks, or somebody probably got shot. Uh, let's hope it's the fireworks, but... Um, so you see we ha I... Bleh. You see we have these two Neville figures. I'm gonna call him Neville, I'm gonna call him Pac. I kinda like the name Adrian Pac, I don't know why he didn't go with that. It, it just has a good ring to it. Maybe I can use that in my wrestling company, I don't know. So yeah, I have these two Neville slash Pac figures, and I picked this one up a long time ago at Target. And then I kind of thought to myself, because I mean, it's kind of a dull attire and I don't want to repaint it like I did with Rollins. So I kind of thought, what if I make his attire that we were supposed to get with this figure, which is this one. So, huge shout out to BEW and Venomine Figs for this. Uh, sadly, Venomine deleted his channel, so it's still listed in my subscription list. However, there's just nothing on there. No videos, no posts, no playlists, no nothing. It's all blocked. R.I.P. Venomine Figs. But anyway, so I actually went to the store and I actually bought another Neville, but I went to Walmart and bought Neville and James Ellsworth. So while doing so, I was able to make this custom elite. I was thinking about making his uh, SummerSlam attire or maybe a uh, different one because I'm really starting to like this turquoise paint for some reason. And I'm thinking about making... A few figures turquoise, like maybe a Neville and different figures. So, this is just the Elite. Um, damn, what series is it? It's not 50. I think Elite 54 and Neville. So, this is Elite 54 and Neville. I put the Cruiserweight title on him because that's what came with this This one. My other one I used for something else. So, that's what this is. These arm things actually came off a headset. And you see you got the dark gold dark gold really dark gray and black trunks along with the knee pads it's a pretty nice figure no doubt about it it's kind of like a little fix up and before i do go i actually want to show you guys this so if you see that figure in the back right there um as you can see it's not done yet but if anybody knows who this is um i'll it is a custom Roderick Strong that I'm currently working on. I worked on this while I was sick. And actually, if you can, I don't know if you can tell right there. But actually, there's a little Undisputed Era decal right there. And that is going to be used for this Roderick Strong. So that will be on a future episode of Weekly Customs. And also, there are two other customs that I'm currently working on. If... Well, Stan, come on, come on, Ronnie. Come on, Stan. There you go. There's also these two that I'm currently working on. I'm working on a Pentagon Jr. or Penta El Cero Miedo. Penta El Cero M or whatever you want to call them. I got the decals right here. I'm going to put those on. And then also, this is one I'm really proud about. This is a custom Alistair Black. That is currently in progress. Look at that back tattoo. My god, that just looks incredible. And this is almost done. Um, I just have to get a head scan. I'm, Luigi Kid's going to trade me a head scan. And in return, I'm going to give him that Bobby Roode Elite. And can't get shit right because the stupid thing won't focus. So... Yeah, I'm going to get a Road Dog head scan and put it on here. Just, just look at the way this is. But then again, this this is going to be a future episode of Weekly Custom, so that is that. There's Pentagon, Roderick Strong, and the two Pac figures. And also, uh, if you want to try making this armband design, all I did was it... Okay, so girls use um, some sort of braid sort of thing with their hair. So what, so what you're going to do is you are going to take a black one and just wrap it around his arm twice. 
and then once you do, it'll get to that. It'll make his little arm thing, and they will not fall off. However, if you do use the um, the headphone things, they will fall off. What you could also do is you could also paint. That seems a lot easier, but actually just doing this seems a lot easier. And yeah, that is the figures. I also forgot to mention that belt right there. Uh, if you guys remember when they were going to debut the Universal title, concept photos released, and I kind of wanted to put those to the test. So yeah, there are four weekly customs episodes to look forward to right here. Alistair Black, Pentagon Jr., and Roderick Strong, along with that Universal title that we were supposed to get instead of that god-awful piece of shit that we got. And that's one of the reasons why SmackDown is better than Raw. But that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.